Hi, my name is Siobhan Jones with HumanGeneticsDisorders.com. Um, may I have your name and your perspective a little bit on being a male genetic counselor in the field? Uh, my name is Patrick Wilson. I've been a um, genetic counselor since 2001, so um, seven years, and for the past four years, um, done prenatal genetic counseling, so I'm seeing families where there's a concern about a birth defect, either due to some type of prenatal testing that was performed or a uh, family history of it. Um, what I enjoy most about being a um, genetic counselor is the interaction it gives me with the young families, helping them understand um, what their risks are for their particular condition and their um, testing options in terms of finding out um, if their baby is affected. Yes, one of the biggest um, things I find being a male genetic counselor, and I'm always and I'm talking to. Um, pregnant mothers all day and um, the big question they ask me is about the amniocentesis and if it hurts and um, I know it does hurt but because I just won't have a child <laughs> I personally can't experience the pain but in talking with the families it has helped me understand better about um, what they're going through and um, you know, sometimes, especially with the uh, men, who, the fathers who are, um, the concerns that they have and just letting them know it's okay for you to be concerned that your child may have this particular condition, that um, it's okay for you to be emotional. Because um, a lot of times men don't want to express their emotions. They feel that they have to be strong and um, it's not the manly thing to do as far as um, cry to show concern, but um, just letting them know it's, it's all right if you do that because that's your child and at some point you may want to cry or actually like right now you want to cry and it's okay to show those emotions and to be there supportive for your wife and to let her know that you have feelings and that you care about what she's going through so um, just giving them that opportunity to say it's okay to let my guard down and, uh, as I, I see that as a benefit um, you know they're there talking to a man who can um, also who can let them know okay yes you can be sensitive then also um, and then with the mothers they just they always um, they have their questions and um, just let them know that it's okay to ask questions and how much time you need is how much time I have. Um, you know, and we can talk for five minutes or we can talk for five hours. Just as long as when you leave this room, you leave more comfortable than you did when you walked in. And um, I'm here for you. Okay, well, thank you very much for your insight on the male perspective of being a genetic counselor. Thank you.